Hello, Xavier. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> Fine, and you? <laughs> Great. How about those Habs, eh? Do, those what? Those Habs. Oh, I don't. I, 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 I haven't been. I haven't been following lately. I um. I'm sorry. Dramatic weekend. It was. I don't know. I've been. I mean, I'm. I'm really swamped with the. Ugh. I feel like I'm gonna. I'm not gonna make any friends now. And so it's okay. You're busy. You're shooting another movie. I You're actually. Love, I do love to watch it. Uh, you know, every once in a while, though, I, I really enjoy it. I, You're too busy. Very angry and very violent, and I scream, and everybody's looking at me weirdly. But I, I have to admit, I, I've, I haven't. Uh, I've seen some comments from Facebook. Disappointed people, right? But it tell me, but, I mean, horrifying. well, because like you obviously what this speaks to is how busy you are and you just like you shot another movie since uh, since Tom. Do you, you ever think that this the rhythm of what you're doing is too much? Or are you happy doing this? You're just going to keep churning this stuff out? Uh, well, <laughs> no, you know what? To be completely honest, I I've, you're talking to me right at the proper time I guess because I've I've the past two weeks uh, I've been thinking a lot and taking a step you know back and, and thinking I really got up you know slow down a bit because I'm burning myself out I'm, I'm just I'm I'm you know it seemed like I was at the end of my rope I couldn't edit anymore the deadlines were very stressful and now I'm doing press for this film and I'm in post-production for the next one. So it's two things, you know, at the same time, and I just had to take two weeks off. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna turn 25 on March 20th. You're so old. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's funny to- I'm in the other category now, right? The, yeah, like, 25 and over, that's all. I know, which is like 58 in gay years. So <laughs> I'm like, uh, Gus Van Sant is, is, I'm not going to be able to play in his movies anymore. If there was ever a chance, it's now gone. Um, Your acting career is over. <laughs> it never started. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I just had to um, take a break. So you asked uh, about this rhythm of production and this modus operandi. Do you have that expression in it? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I think it's got to change. Uh, I'm doing... Tom now. It's going to be released soon. I'm going to be done with President. I'm doing Mommy. And then after, it's just, you know, I'm going to take a break, do a minor in uh, art history, um, which is not necessarily a synonym of break, but uh, I'm just going to do some things for myself and try to live my life a little, spend some time with my family, and uh, yeah. T t tell me a bit about Tom a la femme, the, the, in the sense of it being a really different, I mean, it's old news for you, but as a really different... So 2013. <laughs> but as a really different film compared to the three features, sure. were you consciously saying, you know what, I want to do a thriller, I yeah. want to do something different? Oh, yeah. I mean, Tom, you know, when I saw it uh, on stage, it was back in 2011, I was uh, preparing uh, Lawrence anyways, and I thought, oh, this is going to be the movie that will, you know, mark the turn, mark the, the, the change of, of style, and, and it will be a perfect exercise of, a, you know, I think every director dreams of directing um, um, two things, great actors, because that's a thing that's good, you know, for your director's ego. You want to work with challenging people and talent, and you also want to prove people you are capable of, of doing many things, maybe different things, and I do have, a cru you know, a, a sort of a, you know, I feel like sentimental dramas are my, you know, I love them. I love doing right. them. It's, it's, it's what I love telling for stories. And, 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 but I knew that Tom would be that other one, the outcast. And I was just waiting on, you know, the proper timing and opportunity and time. Tom was always meant to be the... Um, you know, a new experience in terms of style and uh, narratively speaking to, it, 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 it was going to be a, a challenge and, and uh, I was excited about that. What, what, do, you, what, what do you think of the, the if, if people say it's Hitchcockian, what, what are your thoughts on that? You know, I have a very strange report to relation to uh, influences and uh, I mean, I don't, I have... I just have a high school diploma. I, I don't have, I, my culture is like 
not the most amazing thing. It's 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 it's, it's got huge uh, lacks and 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 holes, um, and. Uh, <laughs> Because uh, is it true? I, I think now that you're saying that, I think you said you hadn't seen that many Hitchcock films, well, right? So this is it. When I shot Time at the Farm, I had seen one Hitchcock movie, and it was Vertigo. And right. it was when I was like 10 or 11. So I shot Time at the Farm, I was editing the movie, and I showed it to Suzanne Clement, who, uh, Suzanne Clement, who uh, is uh, in Lawrence anyways, and in my next movie, Mommy. And um, she watched it, and she mentioned Hitchcock, and then I told her, don't bring... You know, uh, Hitchcock, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's just a thriller. I, I don't know what I did. It's just what I wanted to. And she was like, if you haven't seen any Hitchcock, it's not going to be possible for us to be friends anymore. Right. So we will, you know, immediately buy all of the movies and, and watch them. So we went to uh, the video store or whatever and, and, and bought this huge um, box set. And we watched like 12 Hitchcock movies. And then I was like, oh, okay. And obviously it was amazing. Like, I think that one of my next projects would definitely be adapting Rope. Really? Into the modern era. That'd be brilliant. I, I, I want to do Rope. And guess what? I want to act in it. <laughs> I, I, so I, maybe your acting career isn't over after all. No, no, no. I, I, I know a director who will, you know, give me some, some roles. Um, I know I... Rope, I mean, there's Rope, there's Rear Window, obviously, there's uh, Psycho, uh, there's, um, you know, uh, Shadow of a... Dead. There are so many brilliant uh, movies, and it's very impressive. But the thing is, I think that people made the link, well, because of the violence, obviously, I already mentioned that uh, score and, 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 and Bernard... Uh, Ber Bernard Herrmann? Yeah, Herman. And I was like, I, unfortunately, I've, you know, the score was... was it's got nothing. Um, for me, it's, it's just, I give it to Gabriel Yarin and I told him, do what you want. And he sent it back to me and I was right. like, I love this. I had put many, many Tam tracks, but which were from Hans Zimmer and Batman. I mean, it was so many different things so far from Herman. So I don't know about the, about the Hitchcock reference. And, and plus there was this scene in the cornfield so apparently there's the, uh, the, there's a Hitchcock scene of, of 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 people running after yeah North by Northwest. I haven't seen North by Northwest. It's not. You haven't, it's you not haven't in lived. Goddamn box set. If it's not in my <laughs> box set, I have not seen it. You have to see North by Northwest. I know I have to, but you know I have to sleep at night, <laughs> and it's not. Take always. two hours out of your sleep tonight. Oh, <laughs> I'll try. Well, thanks a lot, Xavier. Well, thanks to you.